Paradise. This is Shadow Dancer on the Sega Mega Drive. This game was released by Sega in 1990 and it's based on the arcade machine of the same name released in 1989. It's the second entry into the Shinobi franchise both in the arcades and on the, say, uh, the Sega Mega Drive. Back in the day I was really, really disappointed with this because it's not a true arcade port. It's kind of a loose sort of reimagining or remake of the original arcade game and I think back in the day even though this game places quite high in sort of um, you know Mega Drive uh, game reviews these days it kind of got a little bit frowned upon because obviously you know why didn't do the arcade game the difference between this and shinobi is you have a dog that you can use to kind of you know send their enemies as a kind of a you know a, a way to beat you know people who are kind of crouching behind objects and stuff like that other than that it plays pretty much exactly the same as shinobi you've got magic you've got shuriken you've got a sword attack when you're in close it's a two-tier system upper deck and lower deck there are five levels in this game and it's 1997 and you're fighting a terrorist group called Union Lizard? It sounds like a, a socialist or a communist name for someone's trousers snake. Right, skip past that. Um, yeah, and apparently G.I. Joe was on vacation so they send you and Joe Musashi. Now, I absolutely, I, I have just such strong fond memories of this game because while I was the, the the only kid to have a Sega Mega Drive in my school, a Japanese one, oh, great times, I was so popular because of that, a kid did eventually get it, and get, get a Japanese one, I should say, and before the release of the UK one, so there's one other person in my school that had about a thousand kids in it that I could trade games with. And um, yeah, he, he was absolutely loaded, or his parents were, I should say, so he used to get, right, that's shuriken, that's jump, which would mean that's magic. If I hold down shuriken, that would be charge, so... Ooh, how do I how do I send Fido at them? So yeah, he you know he'd get games and then he'd get bored of them and then I'd buy them off him at a knockdown price, which was you know easier than importing them. Ooh, so yeah, that was kind of cool. And this was one of the games I got off it. Now I absolutely I, I loved it back in the day. As I said, I was disappointed with it not being a port of the arcade. Ironically, the Master System version is a port of the arcade, so I don't know what the deal is there. But you know, I I did love it. But then let's be honest, I, I have such fond memories of Mega Drive. There was nothing I wasn't gonna not love on it, right? Get him, Fido. Yeah, that's cool. Oh, you upgrade your shuriken to like R type lasers. Is it just me, by the way? I do like the background and parallax, but did I drop something off? Those buildings really doing like the Harlem Shake. Oh, oh shit. There we go. Right. Ooh, farty manhole. I do like the way it does that little exit thing at the side of the screen. All right, chill, Joe. There we go. Oh, there are there are earthquakes, aren't there? I mean, like it's ooh and falling shit. It's been forever since I played this, but oh, can I send the dog at him? Yes, that dog mechanic is bloody cool. Is it just me? Are we overdue for a new Shinobi game as well? I mean, I know there's one on the 3DS, and we said 3DO then, but I don't hear good things about that. Oh, shit. Oh! Oh! The, oh I, I was just going to say the ground ate my dog, but my dog came back. I guess all dogs go to heaven, but then come back. Oh, these guys are wankers, I remember that. Oh, I've got an extra... Oh, multiple hits. Do those things not kill me from... Are you going to... Yeah, do those things not kill me when they, they fall from the sky? Ooh. Oh, I've got a kick as well. I bloody well hope so. I'm a ninja. What a world we live in. Ninjas only have two moves. Sword attack and kick. The Taoji Kundo lied to me. Granted, that's not ninjas. Alright. There we go. Boss stage? I'm assuming it's a boss stage. Now, it's not as impressive as the arcade's graphics. Um, eat this. I, I've got to wind up my magic. How does that work? Oh shit! I'd like to know what magic that is. Ooh! Oh fuck off! 
you got to be as annoying as the original boss on um, Shinobi, aren't you? Yeah, what magic that is when I can rain down meteors. But yeah, I do think these are, this is, you know, these are nice graphics. I would say Super Shinobi is better. Ooh, see the magic does that pull your plums out the far thing that it does in the original game. Right, just jump it and... Oh, fuck off. It's, it's good to see that they've just basically imitated the first game. Leg it left and let him rain shit down. Oh, these ones do kill you. How many lives have I got? Right. Right, there we go. Eat that. Why don't you telegraph your moves a little bit more? Oh, Bella. The bullocks? I can't even talk. I'm going to say, as much as I like this game, I think this is poor boss design. Ooh. Sounds like an old air raid sort of siren thing. Right, right, he's going to spit. Fuck. I am really bad at this game. Right, come on, get one in, get one in. You know you want to. Oh no, I'm going to have to do this, aren't I? Oh, is he blocking? Right. Run away. That's fucking annoying. Yeah, don't start me at the start. Oh, you wankers. Nope, there we go. Boom. I'm sorry, but this is poor game design, Sega. Not just because I'm sucking at this and sulking like a, like a little whiny bitch. Right. There we go. Get one in. Get one in. What the fuck is he? Uh, oh, I like to ask that. I was facing the wrong way in my defence, though, referee. I was facing the wrong way. Absolutely appalling at this. Go on in. Run away, run away. Bollocks. I call it quits there. Shadow Dance on the Sega Mega Drive. It's alright. Um, but I'm rubbish at it. Anyway, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you later.